I'm Archie Jacobs with Manufacturing Automation. I'd like to show you a little bit about Release 2 of the Advanced HMI software. Advanced HMI is a set of tools for building HMI projects. These tools are used within Visual Basic.net or Visual Studio. These tools include visual components as well as communication drivers. Although you use the Visual Basic environment, you do not need to know any programming to build an HMI. In front of me, I have an advanced HMI application running on a 15-inch panel mount PC that runs Windows XP Embedded. This unit comes from IVC Display and sells for about $1,500. The HMI is communicating with a MicroLogix 1400 over Ethernet. To show how easy it is to use advanced HMI, I'm going to walk through the process of creating and deploying an HMI. I am not going to go through the process of downloading and installing the software. You can find those details in one of the other videos on advanced HMI. So the first thing we need to do is open up Visual Studio or Visual Basic, depending on which one you're using. And then we want to go to File, Open Project, and we need to navigate to the directory in which we downloaded and extracted the advanced HMI software from SourceForge. And we're going to open our SLN, the solution file. Now once that opens, you should see the main form. If you don't, you can come over here to the Solution Explorer and double click Main Form to open this up. Now once this is open, you see there's a few steps that walks you through this process and you see it's fairly easy to do. So the first thing we need to do is Come up here and build build the project. Since this is a source code project, it does have to build them before you can use all of the components. So once it's done building, you come over here to your toolbox, and when, the first time it opens, it's going to populate the toolbox. So you may have to be a little patient. Um, but once we do, we can see all of our advanced HMI components. Um, the first thing we want to do is drag and drop the driver and the first thing we're going to do is pull this Ethernet IP for slick and micro because that's the one I want to um, communicate with. So I drag and drop that to my form and you see it puts it down here in the bottom in the component tray because it's not a visual component. Now I'm going to come over here to my properties window and I'll see my IP address. This is the IP address of the PLC. Now I know my MicroLogix 1400 that I have here is address 192.168.0.5. So now that I have my communication driver, I come back to the toolbox and I'm going to pull up a digital panel meter and drop one onto the form. Okay, let me get this thing sized up correctly. I'll make it pretty big and I'm going to come back over to my properties window and I'm going to look for number of digits. I'm going to take that from 4 to 5 and you see the meter you know, gets wider and adds another digit and now um, I want to go to gauge text and change the actual text to see and I'm going to put n7 colon 1 uh, value and that just kind of tells me what value I'm showing on this for this little demo. Um, then what I need to do is scroll down and find PLC address. And you see right now it's N7 colon 0, but I want it to be N7 colon 1. So now I've done everything I need to actually have a very simple HMI. So now the next step is to build, build advanced HMI. So once that's completed, we can navigate over to our directory that has the project. Where you um, want to go down and look for the bin. That's the binary folder. Now depending on whether you're using Visual Studio or Visual Basic, um, you want to navigate down until you find your um, .exe and make sure it is the current date that you're using. Now I'm going to come back over here to my IVC display. Now I do want to close out the current running HMI and I'm going to pull out the SD card that I'm using to um, put my HMI on. I'm going to put it in a card reader, place it in my USB slot, and now back on the computer, I can, all I need to do is copy all of these files. You see there's actually two files that's, just since I have Visual Studio open that I do not need, but I'm going to, um, it won't hurt to copy those, but I'm just going to exclude them. 
So now I come over here and I'm going to paste it onto my um, SD flash card. I'm going to just say let's copy and replace that. Now once everything is copied over, we can take the flash card and stick it back into the display. And then I'm going to navigate what already pops up a window and that advanced HMI.exe I'm just going to do file open and what we should see and for some reason this display has a little bit of a lagging startup um, and what we see is the wrong file okay let me Try this again because I apparently went to the wrong directory. Yes, I went into the debug. Uh, looks like I need to go into the release. Yeah, I didn't follow my own advice. So let me try this again. I can take these files, copy. paste and now they're updated onto the card now once again I'm going to stick this card into my IVC display now it automatically pops up so select the file you can either double click it or I like to come to file open because there is usually a long delay and that file open knows it and what you see on the screen now is actually showing that N7 colon 1 that is um, I have a simple ladder logic program that just increments and decrements that N7 1 very fast um, you know just to show the speed of Ethernet you can actually see it's kind of keeping up going from 0 to 100 and back down to 0 and that's actually it that's um we have built an HMI using the advanced HMI software now, if you want to add more components, it's just a matter of dragging some of the other um, components onto the form and setting your, um, your PLC address. And that concludes you know, the walkthrough. And I hope you, um, you know, get to use the software. And please give me some feedback because this is a um, continuously updated package and we're constantly adding new components and new controls and putting it back out on SourceForge. So um, please give us some feedback, suggestions, um, you report any bugs, and I hope you enjoy using Advanced HMI.